glad we're together. Thank you. So, what do you have for me? You sure know how to impress me. With aim like that, you'd probably miss more if you tried. You're a natural with the bow. Need something? <laughs> it was a suicide mission. Astrid said as much. Yet here you stand, hale and hearty. I'm the perfect weapon. My innocent child's form grants me nearly unrestricted. or a good bite if he takes care of the rest. Don't let my appearance fool the lock. I'm older than you. A lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're ten will do that to a girl. I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course. 300 years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably correct. Yes, don't kill the gourmet. Oh, I know you have to, but it makes me sad all the same. I love the gourmet's recipes. The world will soon be a blander, less flavorful place. Have a good contract. So, the prodigal murderer returned. Good, good. Got the writ of passage too, I see. So there's that. I also received word from Markarth. It would seem Anton Varan has suffered an untimely fate as well. <laughs> Good, but unfortunately that inn is a buzz with the news of somebody killing one of their guests. What? Hiding the body was too much for you to handle? Ah, useless. Here's your gold. Now go see Astrid. The time to move against the Emperor has finally come. Sithis help us all.
So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. <laughs> Look at you. So calm, so confident. I do believe you were born for this task. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in solitude. Present the gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in 